Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here, and after several months, welcome back to Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. The tower defense game with RPG elements and a cast of characters with enough personality to sell a laugh track too. Except for maybe the parts where a madman is trying to kill you and everyone else, cause uh, that part's probably not quite as funny, at least to most people. Anywho, when we last left off, we were traversing a cave filled with explosive crystals, because that was a great idea hiding in there, and trying to escape the aforementioned madman who probably also wants to blow us up, so yeah, it's a bit volatile in here. Today, I believe we had left off entering a sewer, so yeah, let's go enter a sewer. Ugh, boy, it's been a long time since I've done this, so, uh... Gameplay-wise, it's easy enough to remember. It's a tower defense game. You've played one, you've probably played most all of them. So yeah, figuring that out, I can do. Unfortunately, since it's been so long, I'm probably going to screw up the voices, whatever voices I had given them. So, uh, bear with me for the first couple episodes of this return. What were we doing here? Let's see, what do we got? Casual, normal, advanced, could probably handle advanced. Extreme is probably out of my league. I am... Let's see, what do we get for... Ah, uh, good reward on extreme, but again, a bit difficult there. Gonna go with normal. So yeah, let's do a normal run. Begin! Cutscene? Cutscene! The escape route is hidden in the sewers? Who the heck designed this city? Yeah, I remember Katala. I remember the spoony, uh, the spoony archer. I liked her. She thinks like I do. This is a crazy plan running through an explosive cave. And sewers, apparently. Why are there sewers here? It leads down into the mines. From there, we can... You really thought I wouldn't find you? You aren't the only ones who know the secrets of this city. Dude, I used to live here when I was little. I know all of the paths. And you should know that I will stop at nothing to defend our people. Like when we broke our portion of the Blood Seal Prince? He's a prince? Did we learn that before? Really, we don't... I, I remember pointing that out. We don't get a lot of details about him except when they just suddenly spout things out. Like we just suddenly knew his name. That... That's been really, really weird to me. We were on the verge of extinction. The Quaid Empire took no prisoners. Have you forgotten the devastation of the eastern provinces? I stood knee deep in the blood of my people, our people, and I swore I would do whatever it took to save the Ash Kingdom from destruction. That's a lot of blood. It is an oath I intend to, I still intend to honor. And then what? You murder a girl. And if this plague really is the work of some dark intelligence, what will it do when you remove its only means of escape? What happens when he becomes desperate? Probably bad stuff. Plans are in motion, and all things will be addressed in their time. But first, she must be removed. And then we fight! See, what do we do here? I sort of remember this, and I sort of don't. Yes, I do remember the things now. I just gotta get everything set up just so. Here's to hoping. I had enough for at least two for everybody. Oh yeah, I've got plenty to go around. See, so you get the arrows going, quite important. Get you going. Ah, oh, I'm five short. Oh well, let's roll. I said, let's roll. Hurry it up, guys. Come on. I got stuff to kill, places to go, and a madman to flee from, I guess. Hmm. A bit slower than I expected. Still slow. Come on, slug man. I gotta kill something here. That's more like it. Come to me. Come to me and die. Ooh. Come to me a little bit less slowly. We've got the actual slugs, which somehow are faster than the slug men. It's weird that slugs tend to be the fastest creatures in this game. So far. I forget if you get other fast things. 
It's been a really long time. <laughs> uh, what are we up to? What are we up to? Can I give you anything? Yes, I can. Cool. First line of... Second line of defense, I guess. Well, until things start showing up on the right side. What do we got over there? Snake goal. Slug guys. I'm pretty sure we can deal with them when they come along. Oh, hey, we got guys coming from here now. Kill! So, anyone else? Anyone at all? No, still nothing. Fixing to get you, though. Huzzah! Slightly bigger radius. Let's speed this along, shall we? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Slow that down. I can fix some of this. Ooh. Thought about a lag for some reason. There we go. Zappity zap. Don't know why I'm lagging. And no, it's not just because it's the... On the slower speed. Hey, hey, hey. Get off of the magic. There we go. I know having it on the slower speed had me going slower, but there was some kind of weird lag going on, like low frames. No clue what that was about. Alright, we're back to the killing. Cool. And it's also really nice to be back to this game. Because, uh... I don't know, it's just really fun playing this kind of game. And this particular game is really fun in itself because uh, just all the story bits, all the dialogue that you get. And that's actually somewhat hypnotic watching them moving like that. That's weird. Kind of like watching an actual snake move along. That's about enough out of you. I'm gonna zap all of yous. And get off of that. Oh, oh, I got a bunch of points. I got a bunch of points. Max you out. Give you something and that's about it. Darn. Okay. What else we got? What else we got? Bring it on. Oh crap, it's you guys. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I can work with it. And... Zappity! Ooh! That was a lot of damage. Like thousands per. Holy crap. Alright. And now, we wait. Suddenly we have a floating smoke blob. Well, that's a bit curious. I don't know what that was about. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I uh, was not paying attention. That's, uh... Fury! Frenzy! Whatever! F word that means attack more. Or not. I was kind of hoping that he would be able to get some damage in, but yeah, we killed them off a lot quicker than expected. I'm cool with that. Zappity zap. Zappity zap. Yay! Ezra survived unharmed. Do we level up? Do we get anything good out of this? Or do we just cut straight to a cutscene? No, we do not. Yay! Somebody got to level up. Cool. Onward! Ah, oh, crap. What did I give you for a voice? I don't really remember. Oh, well. They are beaten back for now. We must move. Zelamir. He made the choice he thought was necessary. He will die for it. Snova. Oh, that's right. I named you Snova. Ah, puns. Sort of. Because Snow and uh, Nova and stuff. Yeah. I'll shut up now. Revenge has no place at a time like this. This is not revenge. This is justice. This is honor. I cannot turn my back on such a crime against the Empire. I cannot face the cosmic flame without Zelomir's blood. The lives of millions cry out for it. Then save justice for the future. For now, we must escape while we have the time. Lady? Yes? We are about to be swarmed by the enemy. I do not know if this will be of any use to you, but it may help. The wisest swordsman I ever knew once told me, Strike not with strength of arm, but strength of spirit. And so, with mind and body as one, throw your enemy from you. It was years before I understood that. What I think he... Wait! Strength of spirit, throw your enemy from you. I understand. And just like that, she's a smart cookie. And going super saiyan at that. What the crap, lady? Wow. 
That took me three years. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hate you right now. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. I've said it before, I'll probably say it more. Pushes enemies back, so yay, we got the pushback thing. Now, this is handy later on, and possibly in the next fight. But uh, I'm probably going to wrap that up for right now. But on the bright side, we. Next time, we have a boss fight. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. And I think, even though boss fight has us going levels 20 through 48, that's a bit of a gap. I think I can actually manage that. Because in the boss fight, well, we've already done a boss fight before, but yeah. In the boss fights in this game, you only have to kill the boss. That's the only thing that matters. You kill him, everything else goes away. Of course, you still don't want anything coming and getting Ezra, but... Still, just focus on the boss, wipe him out, and just bam, you win. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty good uh, grinding spot, if I recall as well, because you're going to redo, you can repeat the uh, the boss battles. Also, next time, if we're lucky, I might be able to show off the super secret thing. Ooh. But anywho, this has been Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I'll see you all next time and remember to stay groovy.